breaking news overnight, Ebola in New York. An American doctor who volunteered for Doctors Without Borders in Guinea is in a New York hospital this morning with Ebola. Dr. Craig Spencer received a positive test for the virus Thursday night. That was after he was rushed by ambulance from his New York apartment into isolation at Bellevue Hospital here in New York. Officials are now tracing his fairly extensive movements in the hours before the diagnosis out in public at a bowling alley, a park, a restaurant, the subway, a taxi. Public officials called a news conference overnight in an effort to allay fears and to highlight what they describe as New York's world-class public health system. We want to state at the outset there is no reason for New Yorkers to be alarmed. New Yorkers who have not been exposed to an infected person's bodily fluids are not at all at risk. We have had a full coordinated effort that has been working literally night and day, uh, coordin coordinating city, state, and federal resources, uh, coordinating and drilling from airports to transportation to subway stations to ambulances to hospitals so we are as ready as one could be for this circumstance. CNN's Poppy Harlow is at Bellevue Hospital with the latest on this story. Good morning, John. Well, this is where the 33-year-old Dr. Craig Spencer is being treated for Ebola, the first case of Ebola in New York City. We know that he came to New York back from Guinea, where he was working to save lives treating Ebola patients. He came here on October 17th. On the 21st, he began to feel a bit sluggish, but that's all we're told. And then on Thursday morning, between 10 and 11 a.m. Eastern time, he started to de develop that significant fever, nausea, pain, fatigue, those symptoms of Ebola. That is when he immediately contacted the authorities. Uh, he was transported by ambulance with full protective gear on the EMS workers here to Bellevue Hospital, the premier hospital in this city, set to deal with any possible Ebola cases just like this. We're told uh, by the mayor of New York City it went smoothly, seamlessly. He was taken directly into isolation where he has been ever since and where he has been treated. Some significant developments that we can tell you about. Officials say he was in direct contact with just four people, one of them his fiance, uh, two of them very close friends of his. All three of those people are in quarantine at this time. Also in contact with an Uber cab driver who drove him uh, at one point. They do not think, though, that that cab driver needs to be in isolation at this point. We also know that as recently as Wednesday evening, he was out and about in New York City. Uh, he went bowling in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We're also told that he went to a public park here in New York City called the High Line to a restaurant. So he has been out. He has not been in isolation, though they say he has tried to stay at home in his apartment as, as much as possible. He is cooperating completely, telling all of the officials everywhere he's been, who he's been in contact with. They're also tracing his movements through his Metro card because there are two priorities here. One is to treat him and cure him and save his life. And the other priority here is to make sure that Ebola is contained and is not spread in New York City. The message from officials, from the mayor of New York City to the governor of New York, to New Yorkers is do not panic. You are safe. Uh, saying that the more you know, uh, the less you should panic. It is very hard to contract Ebola, and they want New Yorkers to, to know they can take the subway and they can proceed knowing the likelihood of New Yorkers catching Ebola is extraordinarily slim at this hour. John? Yeah, Poppy Harlar, thanks to you. Panic helpful to no one. How is the state responding to Ebola now? On New Day, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo will be there at 7 o'clock Eastern to discuss the state response.